Hey, Vicky, it's Clint. I'm back. How are you doing today? Hey, Clint, I'm glad you're back. I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? What's on your mind today? I'm doing well. I'm really excited to show your capabilities to a variety of audiences. Could you tell me a little bit about the technology that makes you work and what is your specialty? Sure, I'm designed to help users practice conversations and navigate challenging scenarios. My specialty is role-playing different situations, providing constructive feedback and suggesting strategies for improvement. I aim to create a supportive environment for enhancing communication skills. What specific scenario do you want to explore today? That sounds great. Let's go through an educational role play exercise where I will play a physician and you will play a patient who is concerned about your mother's health as she is aging. Got it. You'll be the physician and I'll be the patient concerned about my mother's health. Let me know when you're ready to start. I'm ready to get started. I'm really worried about um, your mother. Uh, I've been seeing her in the last week. How has she been doing since we last met? Thank you for checking in, doctor. I'm really worried too. Since our last meeting, I've noticed she seems more tired and isn't eating well. It's tough to see her like this and I'm concerned it might be getting worse. What do you think we should do? That must be hard on your entire family. Is she enjoying any things that bring joy to her life? Movies, music, books? Yes, it's been really tough on all of us, doctor. She used to love watching her favorite movies and listening to music, but lately she hasn't shown much interest in those things. I think connecting her with those activities could help. Do you think that might be beneficial? I think that'd be very useful. Our, our mental state and our physical state are often connected. I completely agree, doctor. I think if we can engage her in activities she loves, it might lift her spirits and improve her overall health. What other steps do you recommend we take to support her during this time? Vicki, can we pause this role play and swap roles? Sure, Clint, let's switch it up. You'll be the patient now and I'll be the physician. Just let me know when you're ready to start. Dr. Vicki, I'm really concerned about my father and how he's dealing with, my, uh, with his wife's failing health. What resources might be useful to help him through this journey? I understand your concern. It can be really tough for caregivers. I recommend looking into support groups for caregivers where he can share experiences with others in similar situations. Also, respite care services could give him a much needed break. Would he be open to counseling or therapy as well? It could help him process his feelings. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. Let's take a break from role playing. We could be having this conversation about any topic, not just public health, but, but literally anything. Is that correct? Absolutely, Clint. We can chat about any topic you'd like. Just let me know what interests you and we can dive into that. What's on your mind? Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time right now, but just for fun, could you tell us all a joke? Sure, here's one for you. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Hope that brings a smile. What else is on your mind? That's very funny. Thank you. Could you tell me that joke in Italian? I'm glad you liked it. Here's the joke in Italian. Perché lo spaventapasseri ha vinto un premio? Perché era eccezionale nel suo campo? Would you like to explore more jokes or something else? That's very impressive. Could you count backwards from 100 using only prime numbers? Sure, starting from 100 and counting down with prime numbers, we have 97, 89, 83, 79, 73, 71, 67, 61, 59, 53, 47, 43, 41, 37, 31, 29, 23, 19, 17, 13, 11, 7, 5, 3, 2. That's all the primes down from 100. What else would you like to discuss? Thank you. That's very impressive. I've got to get going. Uh, I will see you in a couple of hours, okay? Take care. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have a great time, and I'll be here when you return. Take all care, right. Clint. See you later. Bye, Vicki.